In America today, there is a well-funded force aimed at vilifying Islam and Muslim Americans for political gain. It's a fairly small core network of funders, advocates, and, and scholars who are pushing these ideas and continue to push them. This is how the Islamophobia network operates. A group of foundations and donors provides the money. To date, more than $57 million. That money is given to a selection of tightly knit organizations that rely heavily on a handful of so-called experts that orchestrate misinformation about Islam. That misinformation then spreads through a larger network of activists, politicians, media, and more, creating an echo chamber around the false idea that Islam is a violent religion. And I think defining Islam writ large as a threat, as many in the Islamophobia network do, will, is simply wrong and will lead to bad policy. The Islamophobia network has real consequences for Muslim Americans. There's been a nationwide push for laws targeting Muslims. In New York City, the NYPD conducted a spying program that covertly monitored and mapped the city's Muslim communities. And in Boston, a Muslim doctor was assaulted after the Boston Marathon bombings. This interactive tells these stories, but also focuses on the people who came together to fight against the Islamophobia network. I think this is a very basic American civil rights religious freedom issue. I mean, this is one of the core beliefs of all Americans, progressives and conservatives, is the right to practice your religion. Explore the Islamophobia network or view the stories about its consequences.